What's going on everybody? It's your man Jordan Pugh. We're back once again for Pushing Up or Going Higher TV. Look, I want you to sit back. I want you to get your ears ready and get ready to tune in and listen to what we're talking about today. I think it's something that you're going to like. Tune in. Let's get this thing going. Pushing Up or Going Higher TV. Let's go. Yes, sir, man. We're talking about something special today. We're talking about something that I think we all can relate to. I had a question posed to me. I had a question that somebody wanted uh, wanted to know on Twitter. The question was, how do you succeed in a world that doesn't want to see you succeed? What? How do you succeed in a world that doesn't want to see you succeed? That's the question today. So I've been sitting here thinking all day, man, how do I answer that question? How do I make this question relatable? And how do I give you keys to, su to succeeding in a world that doesn't want to see you succeed? That's a wonderful question. I think it's something that we all can relate to, but as you guys know, there's always ways to succeed in this world. There's always a way. And I'm gonna give you three tips coming up here pretty soon. Tip number one, know your why. Each and every person on this earth has a why. Why do you do what you do? Why do you pursue what you uh, pursue? What is your passion and why do you go after what you want? Each and every person has a why and that why is special to you. See, the thing about your why is if you know your why, nobody can tell you and deter you from what you want. Nobody can deter you from being successful. Nobody can own your thoughts, own your mind and own your vision. You have to know your why. Some people's why may be family. Some people's why may be money. Some people's why, why may be impacting the world and changing outcomes for individuals. So in order to be successful, in order to know how to succeed in a world that wants to see you fail, you have to know your why. That's tip number one. Tip number two, you have to see your vision. A lot of the reasons people don't succeed at what they want, they don't succeed at what they dream of, is because their vision dies. Their vision dies when people tell them it's not good. Their vision dies when people tell them it's not realistic. You have to remember that you're the only one with the vision. You're the only one. So don't sit there and let people tell you that it's not worth it. Don't sit there and let people tell you that you can't succeed at whatever you want because they don't see your vision. You can't do that. So the first thing is you have to know your why. The second thing is you have to know your vision. If you know your why and you have your vision, that makes a dangerous combination to be successful, especially when people don't want to see you succeed. That's tip number two. Boy, you speaking that knowledge now, Pew. If you like that, imagine how I'm gonna break this bad boy down. Tip number three, just wait for that one. I got something for you. Tip number three. And this is the tip that nobody really wants to hear, but this is the tip that everybody needs to hear, is you have to be willing to accept your failures. Now, you already live in a world where people want to see you fail. It's like nobody wants to see you get to the top. It's like you're in a constant competition to get to the same spot. But the thing about the journey, the thing about the process, the vision, knowing your why, is also accepting your failures and learning from those things. When you learn how to accept your failures, when you learn how to move on from your failures, that makes you even more dangerous and that puts you right on the path that you need to go to be successful. So here's the three tips. Know your why. Know why you're in it. Know your purpose behind why you're doing what you're doing. The second tip, the second tip, the second tip is see the vision. You have to see the vision. When you know your why and you see the vision, that makes a dangerous combination. And the third thing is accept your failures. If you can accept your failures, that will do nothing but jumpstart, be a kickstart to the success that you want in order to be in this world and live the life that you want. As you guys know, this is Pushing Up or Going Higher TV. If you want more information about me, if you want to book me for speaking engagements, different things like that, visit jordanpugh29.com, J-O-R-D-A-N-P-U-G-H-29.com. Listen, man, I got different hoodies, I got hats, I got t-shirts. If you want some, uh, some content that you can wear to reflect how you're pushing up or going higher, visit jpfanshop.com as well, jpfanshop.com as well. Listen, I need you guys to like this video. I need you guys to share this video with at least 10 
people. This is just something to kickstart your day, something to get you through hard times and let you know that you can make it through and let you know that you can keep pushing upward and going higher. Remember, this is Pushing Up or Going Higher TV. This is to motivate and inspire people of everyone to keep pushing through and be successful. No matter what, no matter what you do, no matter what you go through, you can keep pushing up or going higher. This is Jordan Pugh. Until next time, I'm out.